Smithsonian Museum of uh, Natural History and we're having a look at the origins of the horse. It says, a more complete history. The history of horses is documented by literally hundreds of thousands of fossil bones and teeth. These North American species are only a small sampling from a much more extensive story. While some lineages of horses were adapting for a long for a life of eating grass and running on open plains, others continued successfully as browsers until as recently as nine million years ago. The fossils shown here illustrate stages of evolutionary change in horses, but not necessarily a line of direct descent. number one Hyrocotherium 55 million years old this is an early Eocene from Colorado you can see the head the jaw and the four toed limb Hippus pumulus. This is 50 million years old. Also, four toes. Oh, it looks like a horse. Yeah, and they're showing the beginning of the horse. Of course, yeah. The end of the this is Mesohippus montanensis, about 35 million years old from Wyoming. Still has four toes and four distinct bones that run down what we now know as a cannon bone to meet each toe. Okay. 30 million years ago, we have a mesohippus verdi. This is the latest species of. Mesohippus were the first horses to have only three toes on each foot. So after 35 million years to 30 million years, so over 5 million years, they developed to have just three toes. And you can see that the centre toe is already developing into the distal limbs that we know on our horses today. This one, Meohippus validus, 28 million years old from South Dakota. Says by 30 million years ago, forests were beginning to recede, but Meohippus probably still lived in woodlands. This horse was slightly larger and had the same adaptations for browsing as Mesohippus. Mesohippus continues the trend to lengthening the metacarpals in proportion to the other bones of the forelimb. Elongation of the hand below the wrist produces a longer stride in animals that walk on their toes. This trend began in the earliest horses and became more pronounced in later ones. Parahippus cognatus, 23 million years old. Early Miocene, Nebraska. Since Parahippus remained a browser at a time when grasslands were rapidly spreading, the increasing complexity of its teeth allowed some of its successors to persist as browsers in the remaining woodlands. Most later horses, however, exploited the grasslands as they elaborated this basic tooth pattern and became grazers. Three functional toes of Parahippus, like its low crowned teeth, reflect its continued browsing lifestyle in woodlands. Now, to 17 million years old, Mary Chippus in sickness, Middle Miocene, Nebraska. Very 
chippers continues the trend towards reduction of the two side toes so that the middle toe bears the animal's weight. Now we're really seeing the distal limb developing into closer to the modern horse. Yes, 12 million years, mega hippus, McKenna ray. Nebraska. Mega hippus and hypohippus. The last and biggest of the browsing horses retained broad, low crowned teeth and feet with three toes. These browsers, which were contemporaries of the grazer Pleohippus, became extinct about nine million years ago. You can really see the development of that lower limb. Cleohippus punix, 8 million years old, late Miocene, Nebraska. Cleohippus was well adapted for living in open grasslands with high crown teeth for chewing grasses and longer feet with reduced side toes for greater speed. Equus simplicidens, 3.4 million years old, Pliocene, Idaho. Equus simplicidens, an early member of the same genus to which living horses belong, is very similar to one living horse, the gravy zebra. As the teeth of grazers increased in size and height, the enamel pattern on the grinding surface also became more complex. This complexity added durability. In metacarpals that supported the side toes in earlier horses are reduced in equus to splints, lying along the central metacarpal or cannon bone. So that's what your splint bones turned into. Just the bones left over from the third, second and third toe. Now we really have a much more modern distal limb. You can just see the remnants of the splint bones at the side of the cannon. So, Equus calibus, recent. Equus calibus evolved during the Pleistocene about 1.8 million years ago and survives today as the domestic horse. Equus calibus recent, the living horse with its high crown teeth for grazing and long legs for running, is merely a current stage in a long and complex evolutionary history. And a reasonably damaged pedal bone on this horse. And that concludes our history of the equine.